Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Citizen. Uh, this week is Invictus Launch Week. Um, this is probably one of the biggest events that Star Citizen puts on. And um, it's a really good time to, if you're new, come in, check out the game. Uh, launch Week is... Uh, yeah, I think it's a, a... It might be like a little bit more than a week long. It's like eight days or something. But anyway, it's a, it's a week-long celebration of the UEE Navy of uh, like the military and stuff like that. Uh, it's really cool. They showcase some uh, military hardware, ships, vehicles, weapons, things like that. It's a really cool little showcase of all the uh, interesting, more uh, dangerous tech <laughs> in Star Citizen. Um, there's a lot to do. Uh, there's a huge expo hall that we can check out. Um, and another really big thing, probably the biggest thing really, is the showcase, I think the Idris the Bengal Carrier, and the Javelin Destroyer. So those are really cool. We're going to be checking them out. Um, one, of the, one of the cooler things about this particular first day of the convention is they've already shown off a new ship. So we're definitely going to be checking that out. Um, it's a cool little compact snub fighter. It's really fast. It's got good firepower. Um, I don't know about, like... Uh, armor or anything like that. I don't know if it's got good survivability or anything, but it seems to be very quick. Very very nippy. So that's a cool little rig. We're going to be checking that out. The uh, Mirai Fury. Misk Mirai Fury. Very cool ship. But anyway, yeah, we're going to walk in and, and see what's going on with this. Because this is very cool. Very exciting. So let's go. All right, so when you get here, you want to go to the uh, Bevic Convention Center. And this is the tram you take. It's a new route, or at least it's new to me. I've never done the Bevic Convention Center. I'm not sure how long it's been around, but uh, it's a really nice ride. It's really cool. One of the more scenic, interesting routes through Arc Corp. You get to see uh, new parts of the city. through the hologram lady. Ooh, don't know what that was. Ah, <laughs> oh, so cool. There's a convention center. It's massive. Reminds me of like a football stadium. Woo! One empire. Very Super Bowl esque. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. Hello. What's with all the guns? Who are you? Who are you going to be shooting here? Anyway. Very, very well done. Oh, so cool. I feel like I'm at Disneyland. Alright, welcome. This is just the lobby. <laughs> but it's really cool. It's like... It's like a real convention. I'm gonna go in first person mode so we can really look at everything. It, it's it's really well done. Like it reminds me of something like you would actually like. It, there's T-shirts for sale. See RSI and Argo. Of course the um, Invictus 2953 shirt, which we are rocking today, looking like a real tourist. Cause why not? To the yeah, so this is the lobby. Not a whole lot going on in here. It's really cool looking though. There's shirts to buy and things to look at. But the real reason we're here is in here. 
the actual convention center itself. I know that even that's big and impressive, right? Hey, there's a javelin. Oh. Thank you for visiting Medic Conventions. Yeah. Immediately greeted by this massive room with a huge uh, hologram in it. Um, this is like the second or third time I've I've run through here just to kind of see how it runs, and um, eh, yeah, it hitches up a little bit when you first get in here. I don't know, I don't know what that's about, but oh, look at this. We ally ourselves with those who share our core beliefs. That's awesome. That looks sure really good real too. Heroes make it to where they're needed most. Look at that. That is a screen within a screen. Crusader Industries. And it looks excellent. Know that lifting up others I don't. Us I don't know as I've ever seen this before. Done this well. Like it really looks. Ah, it's believable. That's amazing. That must be really hard to do that. I wonder how they've managed that. Make that look so clear and crisp. All right, here we go. Da -da -da -da. So, this is mainly Crusader Industries this day. There's a there is a little misc element, but not too much. There's only a couple of their their ships here. So you got obviously all the uh, Hercules variants, the A2, the C2, the M2. You got the Ares Ion Starfighter. Um, these are, for those of you who don't know, were billed as capital class. It's so loud in here. Capital killing ships. Capital ship killers. Um, which is why they have enormous guns. And they used to be, like, really deadly. Like, you could really smoke people with them. But they got a big nerf a while back, and they're, I mean, they're still very dangerous, but eh, not quite like they used to be. But anyway, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So you got the A2 there. That's got the that's got the big atomic bombs. Basically wipe out a core, a square kilometer of people. It's a terrifying ship. And then which one's that? Is it the C2 or the M2? I always get these two mixed up. That's the C2, the Star Lifter. Yeah, C2. That's like just the generic freight one. And this is the more um like uh military-esque. This one's really cool. I think it has more guns or bigger guns or something. I don't, I don't, I'm not a big... I'm not really super into Hercules, so I don't know. The, the only one I buy is that one. Because <laughs> it's big and you can put a tank in it. Pretty much that's it. Uh, people that buy Hercules, they either buy the bomber to troll people or they buy the C2 to haul lots of things. I never really hear... I'm not sure what's so great about the M2, but anyway. Ooh, look at this. The Anvil, right? Is it an Anvil ship? The F-8 Lightning? Pretty sure this is Anvil. This one's really cool. I'd love to fly one of these. Someday. I think this is going to be like uh, the main ship of Squadron 42. Now let's see. F 999 F8 Lightning. <laughs> yeah, Anvil. Replace the uh, Hornet. It's so loud in here. <laughs> All right, here we are. The Misc section. Of the expo. That's so cool. The scale is unbelievable. So here we go. The Fury MX and the Fury Base. Um, these are really small. Uh, these ones, are these ones like, I think these ones are kind of folded out so they don't look that small. But these are tiny, 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 tiny ships, especially when they're folded in. While fighters like the Hornet and Gladius have become synonymous with the Shut up! <laughs> oh, 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 hitching up a little bit. Alright, check this thing out. 
it's literally just a bubble. It's like a TIE fighter almost, isn't it? Ooh, you can rent it, by the way. Uh, you can rent every ship here. Charge. I believe it's free of charge. I don't think you pay anything. Yeah, free. Zero UEC. So you can take that bad boy out. Now, the A2, you can rent as well. I don't know if the bombs are included with the rental. I'm not sure. Uh, so, you may or may not be able to troll <laughs> with the A2. But yeah, this is the uh, Mirai Fury. It's really sweet. Um, we're not going to look super close at it um, because I bought one. I bought one. I did. Um, I actually didn't. I only paid a little bit of money for it. I actually upgraded my Drake Dragonfly. So uh, I didn't pay full price for it, but we got one. I had to. It's new. It's compact. Um, and I had to check it out. I had to check it out. This is the missile variant. Which is crazy. I think it's got like 20 missiles on it or something. I got the regular one. Um, so this thing's pretty cool. Um, be cool. I mean, I wouldn't solo it because it has no guns. But it'd be a good support ship. Like, say you get like a little swarm of these going out of your... Uh, and these will definitely fit in a Caterpillar, by the way. So you can have a pocket carrier now, literally. You could have, like, I bet you could get two of these. Maybe even three or four in uh, each cargo section of the Caterpillar. So you can have literally like a little, a little carrier, <laughs> just have like, have like five of these and five of these and just destroy things, put Gatlings on them, yeah, insane. But yeah, there's the Misk ships. We've all seen these. These are these have been around for a while, especially the Starfarer. It's like one of Star Citizen's original big ships. So yeah, this is like the focus. This is the big ooh ah display. The Misk Mirai. But uh, instead of looking at it on this slab, we're going to go fly it. Yes. All right, let's go fly this thing. Let's go check it out in person, functional, in the flesh. You know, that stuff. Oh, also, uh, when you buy a Misk Fury, you get a free Aegis Avenger Titan to go with it as a loner. So uh, that's really cool. Uh, this was the first ship that I ever I ever owned in Star Citizen. Uh, it's the first ship I pledged for, so uh, it's kind of one of my favorites, really. It's a it's a pretty good all-around ship, so nice little bonus there. Get yourself the uh, Splinter livery at uh, Area 18. I think it looks really good in the uh, Splinter camo. It's pretty nice. So yeah, that's another thing. Okay, so this is what we've been waiting for. It's a Drake Corsair! Ha <laughs> ha! So yeah, I bought a, I bought a, Drake, a Drake Corsair as well. Uh, I couldn't help it. Um, it was very cheap to upgrade from our beloved Constellation to this. Um, this thing's a beast. It's basically one of the most powerful forward-facing gunships in the game right now. Um, one of, not the, one of. You've got four Five, size five, four, size five, uh, forward-facing guns if you take the uh, gimbals off. And then you've got two size fours on the wing. So I've already bought them, but I've got four 85 Gatling guns and two 84 Gatling guns. So this is going to have all forward-facing Gatling guns. So it's uh, basically going to delete bounties. <laughs> it, it, it's an absolute shredder with those guns on. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and also, I really like it in this uh, commando green livery. So, yeah. This is uh, pretty much my little pocket carrier now. Look at all the rockets. Uh, we'll take a closer look at this another time, maybe. We're here to see... Very loud ramp. Very, very loud ramp. <laughs> yes, here it is. Just close this so we don't get boarded. Love that. Love it. Here it is. The Misk Mirai Fury. Snub fighter. And look, look at all the room that is still in here. You... 
you might be able to get two of these in here. Um, certainly you can get uh, another small land vehicle like uh, PTV or STV buggy. Um, and you can carry some cargo too at the same time. Plenty of room. So uh, having this as a snub fighter in the Corsair is really cool. Fits good. Fits good. I like it. It wasn't hard. It's not hard to get in and out of either. You got to be a little bit careful, but it goes pretty well. All right, let's take it outside and check this thing out. Let's check this thing out. I really like this little pocket fighter, little snub fighter. This is kind of a big ship. We'll be there in a minute. <laughs> All right, here's the cockpit. All right, we'll check this thing out uh, a little later. Right now, we just want to uh, get this thing outside. All right, let's go over here kind of out of the way. We do not want to be harassed while we do this. Let's park it up right here. All right. Open sesame. Here we go. All right, let's get this thing out of here. Power it on. Let's go. There we go. Oop. <laughs> it's very touchy. You want to be uh, kind of careful when you do this, but it is doable. It likes to uh, set itself down there. There we go. We're out. All right. Now, before we get too carried away, let's hop out of here. Close the gate. as he stops freaking out. Right, let's get this ramp closed so nobody tries to get into our ship. Because they will. Nice. Because people is trolls. Yeah, here it is. The Mirai Fury. Um, it's a really cool little ship. Uh, very compact. Much smaller than, than I was expecting. As you can see, so you've got all this component access, tons of component access, pretty much everything, which is a cool thing that they're paying a lot more attention to with the new ships. So yeah, you've got your power supply, your life support, cooler, uh, avionics. Just, ooh, hey, there's, I didn't even realize there was storage on this. Cool. Not a lot, 60K, but you know, enough to put... Uh, couple little things in, you know, a couple empty bottles. Geez, two empty bottles, 4%. <laughs> but that's cool, you know. Uh, four size two uh, weapons. So put Gatlings on this and it'll be a beast. Put Gatlings on this and it will be an absolute nightmare to deal with. Uh, it's probably, I don't I think it's size one shields, most likely, I'm pretty sure. And they're probably not very powerful. You can probably get the shields down on this pretty quick. But that's assuming you can catch it. So, uh, landing gear down. Alt-K. To unfold the wings. And then, bam, we're ready. You can't fire the weapons until the wings are folded down. So... No sound effects for the weapons. It's interesting. <laughs> there we go. Very high rate of fire, this. 
But the cool thing about this is if you go on the Urkel website, this has the highest forward thrust G-force thingamajigger. It's even higher than the arrow. So it's going to outmaneuver the arrow easily, quite, quite easily. So this is now, as far as I can tell, and I'm, I'm no expert, as far as I can tell, this is now the best maneuvering ship in, in Star Citizen. <laughs> it just is, and it's very fast. It accelerates very good. Okay, top speed. <laughs> Brake, regular brake, no, no thrust. A little thrust on there and zero. So, if you keep it down to space combat maneuvering speed. It is just silly. The maneuverability is just cartoonish. <laughs> I love it. It's a great. It's a good little rig. It is definitely going to be a very popular little uh, snub fighter. So if you put like, I bet you could put, let me, how many modules are on a Drake Caterpillar? Like four? I bet you could get like eight of these on a Drake Caterpillar. I, could, I bet you could get like two or more per bay. So you're going to be seeing little pocket carriers around with a bunch of Misk Furies inside of them. So keep an eye out for that. That's going to be interesting. Um, but yeah, maneuverability, insane maneuverability. You can literally, you just point at my Corsair. Yes, it is. You just point and put the thing where you want it and it goes there. You don't have to worry about, uh, going around obstacles. It eats them for breakfast. Doesn't care. Goes here, there and everywhere. Stick it in the tightest of little spots. Swing it around. It doesn't matter. Uh, why is my boost not... I must not have that reset. Let's reset that. Power to engines. There we go. So yeah, when you have this at SCM speeds, it's really nimble. It's very intuitive. You, very telegraphic, telepathic, rather. Um, I'm not the, gra the greatest pilot, so, you know, take this all with a grain of salt. Uh, somebody with a lot of skill will be able to do some really impressive, ridiculous stuff with this. But even, even I am able to throw this thing around with little to no worry. <laughs> I mean, just absolutely thrash this thing. Uh, get as close to the station as you want. Flip in and around stuff. Zero hesitation needed. Because you can absolutely just smash on it. It is a great little ship. And it's probably going to be decent at combat as well. I can't wait to see that. The only thing negative that I have found about this, so there's two, there's really only two things. Uh, one, and the big one, is no quantum drive. You are going to be toting this around, Stanton, uh, in your Corsair, uh, in your Caterpillar, your Hercules. Um, I'm told it fits in a Cutlass Black, so. Try out. I have a Cutlass Black. We might try it out. We might not. I don't know. But I'm told it fits in a Cutlass Black. I, I'm pretty sure it will. It's quite small. In fact, I know it will, because it's smaller than a Grey Cat Rock. Uh, it's not as tall. So, you can definitely get this in a Cutlass Black. So, this thing is super compact, and it packs a good punch. It's... I don't know why the weapon audio is not playing when I'm in third person, but... <laughs> whatever. You get the idea. Oh, yeah, my weapon power. Um, if you upgrade this to Gatlings... That would that will be insane. I think you can put yellow jackets on it, size two yellow jacket Gatlings, and this thing will be an absolute monster. <laughs> okay, the other negative, fuel consumption, hydrogen. Um, 
as you can see, I just used 25% fuel there. I'm at 50% because I flew it a little bit earlier. But yeah, we're at 25% fuel already. So, uh, you're not going to be able to put a lot of stick time in with this. You're going to want to fly, kill your target, and then put this thing back down. You're not going to have a ton of time to spend in the air. But, I mean, they got to balance it. It's pretty damn maneuverable. It's it's silly maneuverable. <laughs> it really is. You know, like you can do like all kinds of just funky maneuvers with extreme ease. Like this thing, you just will it around. You just, wherever you want it to go, it just goes. <laughs> now you can get in trouble if you get it, if you get it going too quickly and you go to try to turn it around real fast and change directions it's still gonna drift and you're gonna run out of boost but it's not as bad as some of the other ships just you know don't think that it stops on a dime all the time if you're going really fast uh, don't slam it into stuff because <laughs> it is a little bit drifty at higher speeds but it's awesome very cool ship I'm no regrets I'm glad we bought this <laughs> zero regrets here so uh, and it's not bad it's I wouldn't recommend it as like a starter ship because again, there's no quantum drive and you can really only do, you know, ship it somewhere, dogfight, park it, and then ship it somewhere else. You can't really, it's not very versatile, but uh, it's really fun. It's really fun to play with. It's like a little TIE fighter. Look at it. It's kind of like uh, Chris Roberts take on a TIE fighter. I love it. So very cool ship. Highly recommend it. Inexpensive. Yeah, just, you know, I keep an eye out for it to come out on the, uh, in the store, buy it in store. But, uh, you can use real world money and pick one up, upgrade for it like I did. I, I had a Drake Dragonfly bike that I had and I upgraded to this and it was like another $10 or something. It was cheap. So, uh, yeah, you know, if you've already got something that you want to melt for it, go for it. It's a really cool ship. But anyway, yeah, uh, let's get some fuel in this and then I'm going to park it back in the Corsair. And then we'll try a bounty or something. Maybe a yeah, we'll try a bounty. See how it see how it holds up against the NPC ships. how well this goes. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Quickly, I can get right behind him, though. Oh, my word. <laughs> wow. I mean, that was just a, a very low risk target. But I mean, considering how terrible I am, it's really tricky for me because I'm used to flying big ships, right? Considering how bad I am at flying these quick little fighters, that was over fast. <laughs> that was really good. I really like this ship. Um, I, I think the NPCs are going to have a hard time contending with this guy. <laughs> I really do. Immediately stops. I mean... 
Just crazy. Incredible. Love it. It's the best thing ever. Highly recommend. Um, if you don't own one of these yet, you should. You really should. <laughs> Alright, let's... Whoa. That's so touchy. Let's see if we can get this in here without catastrophe. And obviously, you'll get better at doing this, right? There. Look at that. Back in the hangar. No drama. I, I really like this. this is, it's very cool. It's it's more cool than having the uh, having the Merlin having the Merlin on the God that door is so loud. <laughs> it's way cooler than having the Merlin on the uh, constellation. I think this this has so much more firepower and maneuverability. It just is better. Uh, I don't care what anybody says. It feels better to me. I've flown the Merlin and that just it doesn't compare to that thing. Very good ship. Highly recommend. Get it. If you can. It is a laugh. A hoot. Alright, well. So. That's going to take care of uh, day one. Uh, the Misk Crusader portion of uh, Invictus Launch Week. Uh, what was tomorrow? I can't remember if tomorrow is Aegis or... Is, is it... Is it Aegis or Anvil? Aegis. Tomorrow's Aegis Dynamics, so we'll be checking that out. Uh, says a history of excellence and a lineup of warbirds to match for May 21st to the 22nd. So that's Aegis. That's the next Invictus event. Um, and we're probably going to check out the Bengal and all that, too. I uh, just didn't really have time for it on this episode because I want to check out the Mirai and everything. So, yeah. Excellent. I, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys like the Mirai. I, what do you think of the Mirai? Do you think it's going to be like the top tier snub fighter now? I think it is. I think it's I think it would absolutely wreck the uh, Archimedes or whatever snub Merlin piece of poop. <laughs> That's actually a really good ship. But I mean, the Fury is awesome. It's really good. Uh, highly recommend it. Even if you don't, uh, even if you don't use it as a snub fighter, even if you just take it out on the ground to mess around with it, it's just fun to fly. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Um, see you tomorrow for uh, the second part of Fleet Week. It's gonna be sweet. See you in the next one.